So something I wanted to show you guys was this little snack that my dad introduced me to that I really love for travel. It's the Bumblebee brand uh, snack on the run tuna salad. Steven is singing. Anyway. I decided that this is how I wanted to present myself for today. I don't know, it's not usually my style to do this, but I figured you know, while here, wear my fun clothes and wear things that I, I guess I wouldn't put together like this on a regular basis. Um, also, today I'm very excited to say I'm going to all the film locations for Sing Street, which is a an Irish film um, set in Dublin that I really liked. It came out a couple of years ago. Many people didn't see it. It wasn't really like advertised well, I would say, in America. But um, it's a really excellent movie if you ever get a chance to see it. If you like music, if you like... Um, you know, love stories, if you like movies about, you know, coming of age and growing up and stuff, really good. So let's go check out some of the, some of the spots in the movie today. And here are just some things I saw along the way as I walked. They had tea torches. <laughs> Triggered. Oh, also it's hard to see what street you're on because the signs are so small. A lot of bookstores in this town. It was really nice. This store in particular had a lot of old books. I really wish I could have showed Stephen that one. So here's the neighborhood where um, one of the characters, Rafina's house is. And then the school is on the right. It's actually called Sing Street School. S-Y-N-G-E. So they have kind of a play on words there. Really nice neighborhood though, and it was a nice day to film. Nice and cloudy. So here I found Rafina's house, I think. <laughs> and unfortunately it's got some trash cans in front of it, but somebody came out of it and I don't think he was too upset that I was filming this. But um, yeah, cute little car in front of there. It's a nice little front step and it um, really reminds me of the movie a lot. It was also really adorable seeing all of the like Irish school kids coming in and out of these buildings. They were just so funny and so different from American kids, the things they were saying. So this is where I found the, uh, this little alleyway that led to the school. And I was hesitant to go down it because I didn't want to look like a creeper. But I am a tourist and this was a place where a movie was filmed. Here it is, I guess. I'm in a parking lot. I actually don't know why I should be here, but um, there's a sign over there. You can hear kids and stuff. They're very whimsical here, <laughs> but I'm sure that if somebody had watched a bunch of Americana films and went to a random school in the U.S., they'd think they were whimsical too. Interesting how you can hear them. There you go, Sing Street CBS. <laughs> and at first I thought that CBS was like maybe a studio where they like CBS films, school scenes in Europe. But then I realized it stands for Christian Brothers School. That makes more sense. <laughs> I almost feel like as somebody who grew up in California going to very modern schools here, I missed out on that experience of having like everyone in one building going to school and just like hearing the voices overlap and having the whole experience of the lockers and the hallways. I just really wish that I had that sometimes. And this was kind of a, a nice nod to European films I've seen, East Coast films I've seen, where the schools are structured like so. You could definitely tell this was the more residential area as I saw like 25 times the number of children <laughs> in this area than I did like by where we were shopping, which of course is where all the tourists are, so that makes sense. It was nice to get a bit of a change of pace around here and kind of see how the average person in Dublin, you know, gets around and what they see on their average day. 
as opposed to how the bustling like city streets are where there's all these tourist traps. I then stopped by Fusco's Cafe, which is one of the film locations for this movie also. The kids and the band come here uh, all together, and it was kind of nice because there was actually a schoolgirl in there when I visited. So it made me feel like that was legit, like the people who made that movie really know where the kids like to go. And it was really close by to the school, so that made a lot of sense. I ordered a burger and some chips from them, some really thick cut fries. My burger was really delicious, by the way. And one thing I thought was cool was those bottles are uh, salt and vinegar. So this girl, that girl at the counter, put them in her bag and just shook it all up and that's how she seasoned her fries. I skipped out on the vinegar because I'm a bad Filipino. <laughs> Look at that burger, it's so good. Also, I had limited internet access on my phone. So I had to turn it off and just enjoy the scenery around me while I was eating for once. <laughs> and I got to watch these guys do some construction. So this is a cute little park where a lot of very nice scenes in that movie take place. Unfortunately, it's locked up this time. I'm guessing this is not a public park because it seems as though you really just can't get in. So it looks like though. It looks very different in person than in the film. I guess this is like a little seating area. Yeah, that's St. Catherine's Park. Pro tip in order to summon the crosswalk signs, uh, these buttons are straight ahead, not on the side. Turkish delight. Interesting. Also, listen to this lady lie to her son about how long she's gonna take in this Dollar Tree. Be a minute. Also check out this bootleg coconut milk shampoo. I think one of the guys was trying to hold me. What's the verdict, Steven? It's good. Smooth. I didn't want to get something too heavy. Ireland. Long live, uh, long live work, guys. <laughs> 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 <laughs>